Today at the IMAX conference in San Diego, IBM scientists presented on how a physical phenomenon found when building sandcastles can be used to build more energy efficient computers. In the United States, data centers already consume 2% of the electricity available, with consumption doubling every five years. In theory, at this rate, a supercomputer in the year 2050 will require the entire production of the United States energy grid. To address this challenge, IBM scientists are researching vertically stacked chips, also known as 3D chip stacks. IBM scientist Thomas Brunschviller comments. Today the IT industry places individual transistors on a single surface on a microprocessor chip. If we are adding more and more cores and also more memory onto one of those microprocessors, the chip size is increasing and the communication between the elements dominates the performance of such a, a microprocessor. If you start stacking individual layers on top of each other, so you have individual microprocessor dies stacked on top of each other, and you allow transistors to communicate in the vertical direction, you can place the transistors into a volume as the neurons in our brain and make communication much more efficient due to the close proximity of those elements to each other. Now, the challenge to build such a structure is you have to provide hundreds of thousands of electrical connections from one layer to the other to allow communication. And now this has to happen on a pitch uh, which is smaller than the diameter of the human hair. Finally, you have to prevent shorting between those interconnects and also opens. That's one challenge. The second challenge is to provide heat removal out of this chip stack to keep the transistors under temperature control. So we are working on a far-reaching project to remove the heat by forcing liquid between the layers in capillaries to remove the heat. On a shorter term, we would like to remove the heat from the backside. Now you have to make sure that thermal resistance between the interfaces is very small and those to the electrical and the thermal interface is provided by our new concept of capillary bridging and the self-assembly of nanoparticles. One of the challenges at this scale is how to call such a chip. Scientist Heiko Wolf comments. Yeah, actually you're making use of a phenomenon that you everybody knows from building sand castles on the beach. There the sand has to be wet to keep the castle and, and the construction together. What actually keeps it together are small liquid bridges between the sand grains, so-called capillary bridges, and we also use these kind of bridges and this capillary force to put even smaller particles at the right place between such small spheres or grains. Necking between micron-sized features, such as pillars, occurs when nanoparticles self-assemble during the evaporation of liquid bridges. The package is heated to provide an intimate connection between the particles, resulting in low electrical resistance. Next, the chip stacks are positioned on a centrifuge, which spins and forces the micron-sized particles into the gaps between the chips and laminate to form point-to-point -point contacts for the heat to dissipate. For the last step, scientists perform another necking process but with a non-conductive nanoparticle to provide a final thermal contact between the particles. So far, this research has been performed on lab-scale test vehicles and has already yielded five-fold improvements in thermal conductivity. To mature the technology, IBM will collaborate in the framework of a European project with academia, institutes and other companies to provide robust processing available for high-volume manufacturing. This approach to design advanced interconnects based on the phenomena observed in building sandcastles, will accelerate the evolution of 3D chip stacking and might impact other fields like solar cells. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting.